Hi, Mark here from MIECCTV.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at how to back up CCTV footage from your DVR or NVR using the IVMS 4200 software on your Windows PC. We're going to assume that you don't have the software already pre-installed onto your PC, so we'll walk you through that as well. So first thing we're going to need to do is open up a web browser and search for the software. So we'll look for IVMS 4200. If we click the client software link, which will take us to the Hike Vision website. Once we've landed on their website, the latest version at the time of recording is version 3.1.1.6. So we'll click on that and download that. Once we've accepted the terms from Hike Vision, it will just download to our computer. Now this will be downloaded as a zip file, so we will need to extract this. And once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and extract it. So we just navigate to our downloads folder. And for this, we're going to right click on it and click extract. Now this will give us the setup file for the IVMS software. So if we double click this, and if we just accept the license agreement, if we click next because we just want the uh, IVMS client here, and the software will install. Okay, once the software is successfully installed, we're just going to launch it immediately. So once we click launch, it will just load up. You may have your firewall ask you whether you want to allow access for the software. So we're just going to click allow access here. And it's asked us again, so we'll just click again. Now the first thing that the IVMS client is going to ask you to do is set up a super user. So this is a, a username and password for the software itself. So people can't just access the software and get direct access to your cameras. So you set up a username and password here. We're going to select auto login. If you do this, it won't ask you for this information every time. It will also ask you uh, to set a few security questions so you can recover this password if you ever forget it. Again, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to give generic answers. But obviously set up your own here and then you'll be able to recover the password if you ever forget it. Okay, so now the software is loaded up. It will offer us a couple of hints once we've opened it. So if we just click OK on these. And the first thing we need to do is add our device to the software. Now our device is on the local area network. This procedure would be slightly different if it was on a wider network, but ours is on the LAN, so easiest way to do this is to select the online device. Again, allow anything through the firewall. We have a few devices on our network, so we've got them here, but the one that we're interested in, we're just going to uh, put a tick in the box next to it, and then we click Add. So for the purpose of this, it will be your internal IP address. We've just obscured ours slightly. And then you'll need to enter in the username and password for the recording unit. So once we've done that, we can click Add. And now the device is successfully added to the IVMS software, as we can see by the fact that it's displaying online. So now we can come out of the device management. And to back up the footage, the first thing we're going to need to do is go to Remote Playback. So if we click on the remote playback option, we can see all of our cameras have been loaded in here and we have a date and time window. So we want to go from the 27th to the 27th because the footage we want is on the same day. And at the moment we're going from midnight on that date to, so this will be the full day's worth of footage. And then we can just drag the camera into the timeline and it will start playing back from midnight last night. Now button down in the bottom left hand corner is the download footage. So we can select here, and then we can actually select the very the specific event we want to back up. So say we don't want to back up such a large amount of footage. 
we can in the playback navigate to where the event happened that you wish to back up we can do this just by moving the the slider on the timeline as shown now and then we can find the specific piece of footage that we want to back up and once we're happy with that we can say okay we want to back up from let's say five past nine to ten past nine or nine o'clock to five past nine can then hit the download button and then we're going to back up the file from the 27th and we're going to set the time so we're going to go from nine o'clock to 9.05 so then we've got five minutes of footage that will just back up click OK and then we select download down the bottom There'll be a little progress bar to the right hand side as you can see going up now and then the file will successfully download so you can select the open folder which will take you straight to the file if you do want to change this, you can go into the system configuration of the IVMS software and then you can go into the files. So once you can find files, you can actually specify where these backed up files will land. So we can see here this is the file path. If we wish to change that, we just click on the button to the right hand side and we can tell it where we want it to save. We're going to keep this as the default, so there's no need to change it. And if we use our file explorer and just navigate to where the files are backed up, we can now see that five minute video file we backed up a moment ago is here. And we've also backed up the player, which will allow you to play the file. So if you ever need to hand this over to the police or anything, you can use this, put this on the USB stick with it, and they'll be able to play back the files. So we open the player, and then we just go to open the file, navigate to where the video is stored, and then we've got the video file here. There is a full featured software which is the VS player which also allows you to convert the files and do much more with it but the small player that comes the standard once you download the files from the unit is, is this one shown here. And now what we can also do is we can back up multiple cameras at once so if we go for a multi-way split and we just bring another camera into the remote playback. So now when we go to the download files button will actually have multiple cameras. Now you don't necessarily need to back up the same time periods either, so you could back up one time period from one camera and a separate time period from a different one. We're going to show you how to do this now. We go onto the specified date you want to back up the files from. And on the one camera we're going to go from 5 past 9 to 10 past 9. But then on the other camera we might need a little bit longer of the footage. We're going to go from 5 past 9 on this one to, let's say, quarter past 9. And then now when we click download, you'll have two progress bars going simultaneously as it downloads the files. Now this time we can just click on the open folder. It will take us straight into where the files are stored. So we can see here there's the one camera and then there's the other camera. And again, if we want to play back this footage, we can just access the player, which runs a small application, navigate to the file that we need, and then that, that file will play back in the player. And that completes this video tutorial. If you found this video useful, please leave a comment down below. Make sure you like the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more how-to videos.